Hello friends, in today's video I will be sharing my Bible journal plan for 2024 and I will also be setting up my January journal. Hi, my name is Belinda. I'm the founder of Organized and Blessed Mom and I'm back with another creative idea. If you're new here, please subscribe and turn on the notifications so you will know when a new video is posted. All right, so I am back with another voice over here. I had recorded this video at the beginning of the year, but there was so much uh, fireworks going on in the background that I just decided to do a voiceover again. I hope you're okay with that. So to start off with, I did want to show you that I am still using the Ecolo uh, journals. These journals you can find at TJ Maxx at Marshalls in Amazon and I always uh, try to get them at Marshalls or TJ Maxx because they are a little bit uh, better on the price this one you can see here is from Marshalls for $4.99 they are available on Amazon for a little bit um, you know higher price but I did find those top two journals on Amazon and I will uh, link them down below if you want to get these particular um, covers so this is the one the cover that I wanted to start the year off with so let me show you here uh, for comparison my previous Bible journal I had been using the this size in particular since like 2016 um, so one of the things I think I'm here measuring the I believe this is like a five by eight uh, that I'm gonna start to use. So it is a little bit shorter than my normal one. The normal one is more of like a, a, a TN uh, size. So you can see here that the old one is taller and a little bit slender where the new one is going to be shorter but a little bit wider. So I think overall I do get about the same writing space, just now it's going to be wider instead of taller. Uh, I'm going to show you here inside the pages why I decided to change. So this, this is a Christian journal by Ecolo, and one of the big differences is that it has a verse on each page. So as you can see, Depending on what verse is on the page, I was losing writing space and I normally don't do much with that verse anyways. So I did want to gain some writing space and that's pretty much the number one reason for my changing to these regular um, journals. The other thing I did like about these Christian journals is that it did have like a verse at the beginning and a name page, which is, you know, the new ones don't have that. Um, they are just kind of plain. They do have a really nice inside, but there is no name page. It just goes straight into the lines. I do prefer to have a lined journal because I love, um, you know, to write and it's just so much easier to write when there is lined for me versus the dot grid. So I do, um, I believe the line spacing are, is the same. So I'm just going to gain more lines on my pages. Um, I had started to actually start uh, covering. I started covering up the Bible verse there. So it just wasn't serving me anymore. Um, and but I do like this size as well I've used it for many years so I'm gonna give this smaller wider uh, journal size a try just so that I can also gain a little bit more on the decorative side so this one has a really pretty cover it has like some stitching on it which is really nice and then on the back it's like pink it does have a beautiful like champagne ribbon on it um, the ribbons are, I like them, I use them to mark my page, and it has this texture on it, uh, really pretty, really beautiful journals. I love the covers that Ecolo always has. 
And the other journal that I am going to use this year is this one called Live Life to the Fullest. It's like this hot pink journal has some beautiful flowers and I am excited to use that one as well. It has this orange inside and then it just goes into the lines. It has a really cute ribbon as well. It's a hot pink to match the cover. And then this one is, was in collaboration with uh, Deborah Coriel, I believe that's how you say it. So Ecolo does collaborations with certain artists. And so I believe she's the one that designed the cover there. And this one I found at Marshall's, as I showed you before. Um, I really like this one. It was like the only one they had there at the checkout. It has um, a really pretty pink cover uh, with these hearts. And I will remove these stickers in a minute. Um, and so I really liked this one. Uh, just was so pretty. I love the hearts. Hearts are some of my favorite icons. And it has like... Like this really cool gold shimmer inside the hearts and then just plain pink at the back and then it has the inside with these hearts which I really liked and it does have this uh, quote page here at the front and um, it's just it has a really pretty sentiment there about amazing moments uh, and then it just goes into the lines um, as well as like the other ones do and this one has a ribbon that's just like a soft pink to match the cover. And this one is in collaboration with, um, I believe, I'll show it here in a minute. I can't remember the collaborator. Let's see. Okay, so there we go. So this was, was in collaboration with Dana Lee. Dana Lee Designs, I believe it's called. So she's the one that designed that cover. It's so pretty, I like it. Uh, so one of the things I wanted to show you was that um, depending on what journal you get, the paper may have a different color. So you see that one there at the bottom is more yellowish and then these two up the top are more white. So if you're particular about your paper color, do pay attention to that. I'm not sure that the description of these journals lets you know that there is a difference in the paper, but um, I'm not I'm not peculiar on the paper color. Um, so, but I did want to, you know, point that out. So I was going to start my year off in that uh, pretty pink with the texture, but I am changing my mind here as I am uh, preparing my journal for January and I'm going to switch and start my year off in this one, the one that says you are enough. I think it will be a great um, journal for February and just these first few months of the year. So it does take me about four months to fill up a journal. So that's why I have three. The other thing I did do was buy a Midori cover because these covers are so light um, I do find that sometimes they do get a little dirty, which you can, you know, clean them. But I thought I'm going to just get a cover for them. So as I am using one, I will put this Midori cover on it. And when I when I finish these, I usually just put them on my on my uh, shelf. So once I shelf it. I will take off the cover and put it on the next one that I'm going to use. That way I don't have to have multiple. I only need to cover the journal pretty much while I'm using it. So that's, um, you know, for the first four months and then I'll just recycle this cover. So I did struggle a little bit <laughs> putting this cover in this journal. This journal was brand new as well as the cover. But I do, um, I do manage to put it on. It is uh, like a perfect size. So if you are looking to cover the small Ecolo journals, this Midori cover works. And this Midori cover does come with a pen loop, which I thought was really cool. 
and it just protects uh, it's going to protect my journal most of the other journals especially at the back most of my journals get kind of dirty because i lay them on the desk and with this kind of cover i preserve you know the the beauty of this uh these covers so so pretty so here we go I wanted to show you this thing that came with the Ecolo uh, journals. It does have ideas for using a journal. So it says, a journal is a journey waiting to happen, ready for anything. It can be a place to let your creativity shine, a vessel for thoughts and feelings, or simple to, to use for to-do list. There is no better way to travel on that journey than with the Ecolo journal. Thanks to the acid-free lined pages, your words will never fade and both your journey and your journal will last a lifetime. So it says need more inspiration and it has a list of things that you can do in your journal. So it says a sentence, a day journal. You can do a goal tracker, a to-do list, a password keeper, a list of a hundred, a self-care planner, gratitude journal, a bullet journal, positive affirmations, fitness tracker, nutrition journal, travel journal, garden journal, astrology journal, Prayer journal, recipes and meal planner, dream diary, bucket list, habit tracker, finance tracker, project planner, dream home journal, wedding planner, pregnancy journal, mental health journal, favorite quotes journal, creative writing journal, or a book list and reviews. So those are just some ideas. If you have some journals, you know, lying around there, you can use uh, journals for anything pretty much and um, I did <laughs> I did think well they forgot Bible journal on that list because this is what I use these journals for so um, if you've been around here in my channel you know that I take notes from my Bible reading and this is what I use these journals for so I'm going to start here with my name page I did do I I did these labels um, I showed them in a previous video and I just typed out, you know, this journal belongs to, since this journal did not have that name page, I'm just creating it myself. And I did put these on clear sticker paper. This kind of paper is glossy, so it's not my favorite, but it works for now. And then I did do a bunch of these stickers with my name to put into my planner and into my different journals. So right away, I have created a name page for myself here. I thought that was the perfect spot. And then here is where I'm going to start doing my January page. So I will be using the Planner Babe and maybe that other PET tape from Wrong Wrong. So I'm going to look through this uh, planner book to see if I can add some decorative elements to my name page. I think it looks a little bit plain and we can, um, this book is just probably one of my favorites. Uh, this year I'm using it a lot and I, one of the things that I love about this book are the florals. The florals are so pretty. I'm hoping Wrong Wrong will give us a PET tape of nothing but these florals. If she does, I am going to be all over that PET tape because I do like the florals inside this book. As well as, as all the other, you know, Planner Babe uh, stickers. So I do like this stack of books. It just looks so pretty. I don't know if these are supposed to be books or journals, but... They look to, to me like maybe a stack of books or a stack of journals, which looks so nice. So right away, I think I'm going to leave it like that. It looks uh, a little bit more decorative and um, just so nice. Okay, so right here, I'm going to start my January page. I always do a cover for the month, and I'm going to be using my Catherine Pooler stamps as well as these stamps by Scrapbook. Com. I'm going to speed this process up just so that um, it doesn't this video doesn't get too long what I do every month is uh, just make a cover for that month I am using the pink parasol 
as you can see I am pretty much almost done with this um, scrapbook pad I'm so happy <laughs> because I uh, it's taking me I think maybe two years to get through that pad but I did like it uh, it was one of my favorites it had a lot of pink and so it's almost done and I thought these birds uh, looked really nice for a January cover and they kind of match those colors in the planner book I will round the corners here on the right side and then just put some tape and let that be my base I like to do my covers with the scrapbook paper and then I do take a white uh, scrapbook paper it's, it's not scrapbook paper I'm sorry it's um, cardstock that there I couldn't say it um, so this I love to do cardstock because you can use stamps and they look really nice on that cardstock so I think I did like five by three size here it just depends on your journal and what you like I do cover up a good portion of the the scrapbook paper but uh, I do want to um, you know show my month and then I do put the month and then the year as well as a little bit of decorative elements I always put some kind of stickers around my month and that is just how you make a really easy and fun cover page there's lots of ways you can do a cover page I like to do this uh, style and it just helps me to divide the months inside my journal now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp the the dates for the first week of January I do this every every weekend where I will prepare and I'm looking at last year just to make sure I have consistency there so I will type I will not type <laughs> I will stamp the month and the date I do use this journal just Monday through Friday so I do have to be careful to stamp the dates uh, without including the weekend and so that is why I have here just January 1 through January the 5th it will cover the first week of January all right now we're going to do the fun part which is to decorate the pages I'm going to be using planner babe by uh, wrong wrong and I did um, in a previous video say that I had not bought the PET tape but I did find it so I'm going to unbox it for you here so that you can see the matching PET tape by uh, wrong wrong this is really cool because the PET tape has just those clear images it does have some of the images like in a smaller size so um, that's the only thing where you know it does I think just having the smaller size does lend itself to be used in many different elements but the once you run out of the stickers in the sticker book it's kind of nice to have this option of the PT tape so here we see just a lot of the same those same images from the sticker book but usually like in a smaller size but you do have uh, all this extra stickers the these stickers are in the sticker book are the ones that I use the most I use a lot of these clear stickers at the back of her sticker books because I like to decorate my planners and I like to use them in my journal so uh, it's really nice to have this option um, that's where the repeat uh, stops and then it just you know you get another 
another loop of these same stickers. It has a lot of desks, planners, uh, planner bags, t-shirts, uh, office, you know, equipment, lamps, uh, water cups, all kinds of different things that planner people use. So they're really cool. So I may use some of those images for my decorative, uh, you know, my deco inside this journal. So I am thinking of coming back to this page and putting some decoration because it did look a little bit um, bare. So we're going to be doing um, decorating the first week of the year. I do this practice every weekend where I get my week uh, going or all decorate, decorated for you know the whole week. So I do like to decorate in themes. So a whole week I will use the same sticker book and same materials. I am uh, going to grab some washi tape. This is my pink washi tape drawer. All these pink washi tapes are from the washi tape shop. So I will grab some of these washi tapes. I think I only used one in particular, but it's always nice to have um, different options. Uh, the washi tape shop has these um, like solid pink washi tapes and then they have the ones with the grid as a set. And I have uh, used up a couple of colors already, but I still have quite a collection of these pink washi tapes, as well as that big floral washi tape there. I did pull out uh, the boho washi tape from Wrong Wrong, and I am speeding this up because, as you know, um, most of the decorating part is just kind of going through the book and deciding which sticker to grab. Look at this beautiful floral. Oh, I love, love these florals in this book so much. I did a flip through of this book in my last video if you wanna see it, the complete flip through. Here I'm trying to, I really like this sticker but I couldn't make it work on this page. So I am going to just leave it um, for another page. We're just going to come back to it later. I'm trying to fill in that little space. I always get, because I put the date there, I usually always get stuck with that little space um, next to the date. And sometimes I do write some things in there, like the day of the week. I do try to uh, work in triangles. As you can see here, I have a triangle going there with the three the three clusters, I try to make three clusters and I do stick with the same grid pink washi tape for all pages. Here I go. This is the sticker that I couldn't fit on the other page, but we can make it work on this one. Some of the stickers, I was having <laughs> trouble getting them off, but usually they're really easy to peel off. You don't need any clips or anything. Here I'm gonna use this boho uh, washi tape to also complement the pink. I love these pink flowers. I'm pretty much just pulling a lot of the pink flowers from that. I did have to switch uh, cameras here because my other camera got full so we did have to make that adjustment but we continue on with the decorating and looking through. So um, this process usually doesn't take me that long. I usually just create three clusters per page and then I move on to the next page. One of the reasons why I do the pre-decorating is so that I don't uh, spend time during the week decorating. I, you know, will I rather spend more time journaling and in this case reading my Bible and finding things to notes to add into this journal and if the decorating is already done 
then I don't have to worry about taking the time to decorate. I can focus more on journaling. So I do usually like to put some kind of a washi tape base at the back and then the sticker at the front. That's just my personal preference, but um, you know, it's, it's just open to whatever you wanna do. Um, it's just, this is just, I'm just making a path if you can kind of see it that way so that my writing can flow around these different clusters of uh, decorative. And so I am mixing the girls from the sticker book with the florals from this boho PT tape. And I like that combination. Also, I am grabbing, you know, the florals from the sticker book as well. I do flip to make sure that I'm not placing these, these stickers in the exact same place as the day before. Uh, that's why you see me flipping there to the other pages. I do like, to, you know, for it to look different from one day to the next. I did find these three girls that I really liked. And here's, here's the floral. And another, like, little quote. I do want to put some washi tape there. So here we go. Name page. Here's the month. Here's where I said, you know, it's a little, it's a little, um, little blah here. So I'm going to add just some stickers. And I just love the way this page comes out. It's like you can take a blank page and create such pretty things just with your stickers. So that's much better right so here we go name page <laughs> i'm gonna find something there so i usually like to do three clusters three stickers so that looks more balanced here we go that page here is my january cover and so here here's uh, day one here's day two Here's day three, day four, and then day five. So all my week is ready to go and I am ready to journal inside this new journal for 2024. And this is the materials that I use, the Planner Babe sticker book, as well as the PT tape. Uh, planner Babe PET tape, and I think, uh, of course, the Boho PET tape as well. As always, I thank you for coming to see this video. And if you um, are not subscribed, I just um, ask you to subscribe so that you can see all the new content that I'm sharing this year. As always, if you like the video, please leave me a like. I really appreciate that. And I hope uh, this process gave you some kind of inspiration for your journals and your planners. All right, friends, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.